you get any sleep on Not all uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, I was just kind of up. That's how I am after games. So it took me a couple hours to kind of wind down, but it was a long trip, so I got some sleep in. How much do you know about the fan base over here in the UK? The perception is we don't play over here. I play over here. I have done for 11 years, like I mentioned earlier. And the sport just seems to grow and grow every single year. You guys are coming to play here on Sunday, you're here now, and I think you might, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of people who are supporting, supporting the Saints, but also the sport as a whole in the mm -hmm. UK is on the rise. What could you say about you guys coming to play over here in the UK and how exciting is it for you? Uh, well, it's awesome. It's an awesome experience. Um, I had the opportunity to play with another team before here, uh, Kansas City, and I played in Mexico. Um, so going to different countries and introducing football or just revitalizing it or um, just helping it grow, like you said, is uh, awesome. It's an awesome opportunity and it's cool to see the love we get out here too. Is there anything in particular about the UK that you like or London that you, you'd love to go and see if you had the time? Um, I mean, there's a lot. Um, one of my cousins actually, she lives in, um, Nottingham, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I came here when I was like eight. Um, right. Barely remember it, but uh, so yeah, I'll probably go see her, and she'll take me out. We look forward to playing at Tottenham, kind of a new, oh, yeah. new stadium. <laughs> All the players have spoken to the last few years have just like marvelled at what an amazing stadium. It's yeah, amazing. no, um, I'm definitely excited to play there. Um, excited to just play here. <laughs> Uh, and you get a chance this week to kind of bond with your teammates, kind of, it's been mentioned earlier, a bit of a secluded area here in London and away from maybe all the usual US kind of media attention. Yeah, um, I think it is a good, good opportunity for us to kind of just come closer together as a team. Um, we've had camp kind of before the season to do that, and, um, but just being, I, not isolated, but here, like you said, away from a lot of other things and in a different country and kind of just with us, um, I think it'll be a really good opportunity for us to kind of just get closer as a team, know each other, and so we do like throughout the day when we're not doing football stuff. And I know you said you don't want to see your cousin maybe take you out. Mm -hmm. uh, so was there anything in particular you look forward to doing or food you want to try? <laughs> uh, nothing too particular. I remember last time I was here I had fish and chips, and uh, <laughs> that's in my diet still so with mushy peas or uh no or no that? not not the mushy peas okay yeah. i haven't had them <laughs> okay <laughs> oh. anything else yeah just quickly i apologize only because we talked to mark about it and it's just about the emphasis being put you know we used to see game in and game out the team got behind they were always trying to strip the ball strip the ball strip the ball mm -hmm. defense offense but now it feels like it's from play one Oh, yeah. How much more emphasis is being put on it from a defensive side from the beginning of the game all the way through? Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's a huge emphasis. I would say even as I've been in the, years my, or been in the league, this is my sixth year, I've seen defensive coaches just emphasize that more and more because you see it changes games. Um, if you look at the stats, um, the more turno turnovers you get, your winning percentage goes up dramatically. So, um, And you can do that on defense. So, <laughs> yeah.